Welcome to this ELC self-learning video. Today we're going to talk about researched group discussions. We'll look at two examples and compare them. Our students are going to demonstrate a bad example first. Watch and see their problems. Hey there, I want to talk about the aging population in China. I think that the cause of aging population in China is the one-child policy. This means there are not enough young people. Mm, my parents said that the elderly in China needs a lot of home care services. So the Chinese government have to build more home. And young people are not giving birth. So there is not enough people to do all the work. And also... No, your point is silly and you got no proof. The elderly need money more than the retirement homes. How can you say that people in China don't give birth? There are 1.3 billion people in China, I think. I've got no proof. Many people say that there aren't enough homes for the elderly, and I think they have to be built so the elderly can have some space to live. Mm, and also, there's a blog post which said that the birth rate in China is low, so the young people is not giving birth. Right? That's your proof? What kind of proof is that? Hey, Wing and Sandy, do you have any other opinion? Um, okay, let's talk about the aging population in China. Well, I agree with all of you. Uh, I think the elderly need homes and money, and I also think young people don't give birth. So, there is an aging problem in China. Yeah, so we have finished our discussion. I'm going to have lunch now. Bye. Okay, that's a very bad example. As you can see, the problems include not using credible sources, not listening to others, not interrupting appropriately, not allowing others to speak, not interacting with others, and not concluding the discussion. Okay, now it's time for a good example. Hello everyone. Hello. Let's start by talking about the causes of China's aging population problem, shall we? According to Morgan Pot in his 2006 paper, the major causes of China's aging problems is inconsistent population policies since 1949. Women were encouraged to give birth in the 1950s. The baby boomers from 1960s are now becoming the major sector of the senior population. So Steph, what do you think about these points? Yes, I agree with you. But personally, I feel that the one-child policy launched in 1979 is also a reason for the aging population problem. The policy reduces the size of the younger generation. Any comments, Sandy and Wing? Um, I'm wondering whether the problems can be solved with just one solution. Maybe we have to figure out solutions for each cause. Uh, in Zhang and Gose's article published in 2006, uh, it was proposed that the Chinese central government should adopt policies to improve the quality of life of the elderly, for example, by promoting the private pension funds. May I interrupt for a moment? Yeah, sure. sure. Um, I have one more suggestion for taking care of the quality of life of the elderly. I think the government should provide more homes and centers for the elderly as well. Let's take Finland as an example. That's right. Let's sum up our discussion, shall we? The major causes of China's aging problems are one-child policy, inconsistent population policy. Did you notice a difference? The second group of students were polite, well-prepared, and conducted the discussion effectively. They had good structure and used their time well. They encouraged each other to participate and contribute to the discussion. They were courteous and expressed their own opinions respectfully.
They engaged with each other's opinions critically, but politely. And finally, they summed up their arguments at the end of the discussion. That's all for today. Don't forget, if you need any further help, you can always ask your lecturer or the staff in the SIL. Thank you for watching.